this wide, and the Toronto Varsity Blues will be heading to the second round of the OUA Queen's Cup playoffs as the TMU Bold head home from the first round of the OUA playoffs for the first time since 2015. Last season in a single word. Disappointing. Not the outcome we expected nor wanted. I think we all had goals of making a deep run in OUA and getting ourselves to nationals, but um, we kind of took our foot off the gas a little bit at the end of the year and it came, came to bite us. I do feel that you know, it was probably necessary and there were some really valuable experiences that we're going to be able to take from it. You know, when we're at our optimal level, we can be one of the best teams in the country. And if we can bottle that, we give ourselves a chance to, to do something special. I do have some notes here that I'll work through. Just wanted to get it all out there as we move forward here. For me, you know, the goal is simple. Like, we want to be one or two in the OUA West. We want to have that first round bye. We want to set ourselves up going into playoffs. You know, once we get there, we want to win the Queen's Cup. You know, that is our goal. That is our mission, knowing that we're already in the national tournament. You know, once we get to the national tournament, obviously our goal will be to win a national championship. If we do things the right way, day in, day out, we give ourselves that chance. We know collectively as a group, we can play in that tournament, we can win in that tournament, but we need to get better every single day leading up to it. March 14th is a long way away. We're working backwards from that day. We wanna make sure every day we're pushing each other to get better and to ultimately be our best version of ourselves. It's nice that we do have a, a guaranteed spot at nationals, but we also, we wanna win the OUA and um, to do that, we have to have a good regular season and just take it day by day, getting better every day in practice and be ready for every game. You know, I expect us to be a tough, hard-nosed team that plays the right way. But at the end of the day, like we've all got to be in the same boat together and we've got to become a family. Any team that wins, you know, truly becomes a family that just won't let their brothers down. You know, they look at the guy next to them and they just flat out say, like, no matter what, you know, I'm not going to let him down and we're going to find a way to get this done because we've put in more work than anybody else. We've been sharp. We've been dedicated. We deserve this. We've earned this. Like, we're going to go get this. Your locker room is, is everything. It's your space to hang out with your brothers and become a team. And I mean, um, touching on, you know, two years ago when we went to the national tournament, we knew that every single guy in that dressing room would take a bullet for one another and we need to replicate that. We've got some special, special people in this room. We've got a once in a lifetime opportunity here in front of us. Hey, there's no guarantees. And how good is it gonna feel if we earn it by putting the work in every single day? I have all the belief in the world in this group. It's gonna be a fantastic year. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's have a blast here, boys. So, you know, first and foremost, like, you know, reading through, it's what, so important, like you can put your vote down, but reading through the why is so important and like going through it and seeing how highly you guys speak about one another and seeing how many terrific leaders we have in this room was really like, I'm beyond fortunate as a coach to have like a group like this in this dressing room. I'll get right to it here. Started off with a pretty unanimous captain selection. Our new captain for this year is Chris Playford. <laughs> and uh, I absolutely love our group in here. Uh, I think it's going to be a super special year already. Like, you can feel the family we got in here. So, you know, we know what's waiting for us at the end of the year. I think we know as a group, we show up here every day. We keep doing what we've been doing. We're going to have a hell of a year. And I'm super excited to be a part of it, okay, to help lead this team. I know we got a lot of leaders in here. It ain't just me. So let's have a fun year, boys. bench okay we'll get some the juices flowing here score some goals get the creativity so let's get out there and get after it just talking about homecoming why is why is that 
event such a such a big one on the calendar for you guys? It's loud. It's it's rocking. It's it really really brings the boys a lot of energy. So hopefully see you guys back. Hey boys, we've been working real hard. You guys have been really getting after it here. Let's enjoy this, right? It's a great atmosphere here. This is just step one on our journey. We don't want to overthink it. We don't want to overplay it. One shift at a time. Be there for the guy next to you. Be there to pick one another up. Let's stick together for 60 minutes here. We are underway here at the Madden Up Hunter Team. Fans have a lot of energy so far. It's been pretty loud. Let's give them something to cheer about, right, boy? I didn't know it went in at first, but when I saw Bowie jumping like two feet in the air, I was like, all right, it went in, and it just gave me those excitement and that jump in myself, and it just felt amazing. As soon as Brando scored, like, I jumped three feet off the ice. I was so excited for the guys. about it in the intermission is just like like we're getting pucks to the net now we need to be there and be ready for rebounds and if you could take a clip of a guy doing that to perfection it would be that clip of Marty like he just read it perfect to give it, give it to the crowd a little bit, try to see if they would give it back to me, which was pretty nice. And uh, yeah, just feeling good after that. Yeah, They're coming, we have to go. Hey, yeah. There's no I point. Know, he's like, he's like, oh, hey, I'm the peeper and we got to change when like when that penalty's over. Like yeah. for, for a minute there, it was 1D. Okay, boys, we're set up nice. Take it to him. Yeah. yeah. Period by period. Yeah. Short change here, boys. Well, how many shots we got? 14? 15? All right, let's get 20 this period, right? Captain Jared Walsh is going to come hand in hand. Boys, be in the moment for uh, games like this. With crowds, you'll regret it once you're gone. So, Gers, hell of a game. Two guys here, I'm gonna have to bring Patty and Camper into the middle. Come on, you two. Oh, 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 oh. Patty, don't be shy. One of the top penalty killers we ever had. And this uh, PK is an important job, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one does it better than Kai. Oh, 
two flights, let's go to Morgan. Yeah. yeah, I mean, homecoming was pretty special. To get all the students in there and feel the energy, it, uh, you know, it was a pretty crazy game. But uh, yeah, I mean, I loved it. All the guys did, and I loved giving it back to the crowd a little bit and trying to feed off their energy. So yeah, it was, it was awesome. So switching gears a little bit, you guys are taking off in a couple days. Not a ton of rest between that and you know the excitement from a game like homecoming. What are you guys looking to do in New Brunswick? And even though it's still preseason exhibition, whatever you want to call it, why are these games so important to this team? Yeah, like, I mean, for me, I know exactly what to expect. I know every shift they're going to come hard. I know they got, you know, solid D, solid forwards. They got good goaltending. We know they're a good team, and obviously we respect them. But at the end of the day, for me, it's like, I know what we have in this room. I know what we're capable of doing, and I'm not scared of them. 